Hi everybody, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace be upon you. I am Zaid from 9th Standard and you are watching Al Bashi Tutorials. Today I will be talking about a water body called river. The first image that comes in everybody's mind when you think about a river is water running continuously from a mountain to a valley. But this is actually not the correct definition of the word river. River is a continuously running water course flowing towards an another ocean, sea, lake or another river. Now the question that comes in my mind is, why are rivers important to us? Number one, rivers provide travel routes and exploration routes. Number two, reverse water are used to produce hydroelectricity. Number three, rivers provide habitat to many earth organisms. Number four, many animals go to the river to drink water. The interesting facts about rivers are, number one, rivers are found in every continent. Number two, Rivers usually contain fresh water. Number three, a river flows through all years, but some rivers flow during wet years. Number four, rivers can go on for a kilometer or can span much of a continent. Number five, the biggest river in the whole world is the river Nile and its water and the other resources are used by 11 different countries. Number six, the second longest river in the whole world is the Amazon River. Number seven, London approx has 20 hidden rivers which flow beneath its streets. Number eight, the Imjin River in South Korea is called the River of Death because many North Koreans have come down floating it. If you look in the human civilization, many of the civilization have come flourishing down the river beds. The river beds were also the greeneries of these flourishing civilizations. At the same time, the fury of the nature in the form of floods have caused destruction to many civilization, like the Indus civilization, and the Sindhu civilization in India. Even today, rivers are used to locate ancient animals, temples, rivers, water-related sport arenas, irrigation canal networks, and many more. As my conclusion points, I say that river is the lifeline of the human beings and the development of the people depending on it. This is all about the reverse for now. Thank you.